three, two, one. Today we are going to be comparing and testing out three different exhausts for the Honda Acti. Um, there's a lot of install videos and specific mufflers, but I wanted to get two different exhausts that are popular because I really couldn't figure out which one I wanted, so I figured I'd buy both. So incidentally, one will be for sale. And we're going to do some decibel readings. We're going to do some in-cab decibel readings and just uh, revving and idling. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do some drive-bys because there's a lot of rain going on, but we'll see what we can do and stay tuned. And if you need to remove your stock exhaust, check out this video where basically everything went wrong. First up is the Wireless Win Popper. Now, Wireless Win makes three exhaust types. There's the Popper, the Sport, and the Bazooka. According to their literature, all three are exactly the same. They just differ in style, not necessarily sound, which leads you into build quality. And this definitely trumps the other exhausts uh, with the, the welds just look really intact. You can see there's also some extra support bracketing there. Um, this is true stainless steel, high polish, and it has good weight to it. It's probably about nine pounds, but it just looks like a much better, well put together. You know, the rolled lip and the edge there just seems to be more put together. Also notice the hanger is welded in two different places on the, on the can. So there's just all that extra support and quality and thought that was put into it. Next, we have the Giga N1 uh, stainless steel exhaust, which also comes with a silencer. It's the build quality. It's a little more crude and rough. Well, you see there's a Sharpie mark. That's from the factory um, for measuring. The welds are a little sloppy. Not that I'm a welder by any means, but they just seem a little sloppier. Um, it's a true can, no rolled lip. It has some tarnish to it. It looks like over time that may really get golden. It almost appears rust, um, but but maybe not. And then we have the silencer that comes with it, and um, I'll be testing with it installed and without it installed, which then brings us to this fine piece of metal that was a blast to uninstall. So you can see here, I just threw an iPad with the decibel meter out, uh, measuring here's the stock exhaust.
kilometers. My drone's at 80. I really didn't bother with the stock. Go drive your own if you want to know what it sounds like. What would I go with? 
Well, in the end, I wanted something that had a little noise to it, but wasn't obnoxious to the neighbors or anything. I'm driving a lot of neighborhoods. So I was stuck with the Giga N1 and I kept the silencer in. So I have the ability to pop it out every once in a while if I wanted to get a little loud. I drove for a good amount of time with the wireless and the Giga without the silencer and both had a lot of drone around the 80 kilometer an hour range. And I'm driving around town in fourth and fifth gear a lot and it was just driving me bonkers. The weather's getting colder. I had the windows closed, so that could be a factor as well. Uh, as far as quality and if noise weren't a concern, the wireless wind popper was awesome. It just had a, a little bit more of a thud to it. As I mentioned before, the build quality was much nicer and I think it will last a longer time. If I invested in getting the little silencer plug for that, I think it may actually be a better, a better value, better exhaust in the end. And I probably would have stayed with that. So with that said, I'm selling the wireless RIN and stick with the Giga N1. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please send me your comments. Tell me if this is helpful to you. If it's not, if there's something I could improve on, um, I plan to do a bunch more videos. So please like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate you watching. Thanks.